Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, January 3rd, 2020. Well, yesterday we had a tremendously exuberant market on the first trading day of the year, rallying really strongly, rallying up more than 300 points in the Dow. And you can see our trend is certainly bullish here in the trend. But, oh my goodness, what a difference a day can make. Um, overnight, the U.S. retaliated for the invasion, uh, the destruction, essentially, of the U.S. Embassy in Iran with an airstrike in Iran that killed one of their top generals. And that escalation has the market a bit nervous this morning, looking at a substantial gap down. Now, it all depends on how the, the market follow through reacts to this. So far, the pullback in here, as you can see, if we gap down in this area, still holds trend. And so far, if we continue to hold support, we should be okay. But my question and, and the thing that I wonder about is as we head into a weekend, everyone knows that this is probably an escalation that we could expect something coming back our direction um, on this. Um, how will they react to that going into the weekend? Obviously, a lot of profits could be taken here so we're going to want to watch this pretty closely if we can hold support if we can hold trend we may be okay heading into the weekend however if those sellers really come in and profit taking comes in with that uncertainty of the weekend and we start breaking down trend and breaking down support levels be real careful that could really trigger a significant sell-off um, heading into the weekend just to unload the risk and take those profits so watch that closely let's hope cooler heads prevail here but it could get could get pretty ugly so we'll want to watch that closely Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation. We're doing okay so far. You can see our SPY futures um, gapping down into here. And as long as we can hold above this price support level, I think we're gonna be okay. We're holding trend, hold above that price support. But if we were to drift below that, if we start seeing an afternoon push, um, unloading risk down into here, we could really catch a substantial wave of selling uh, or profit taking just to uh, avoid the additional risk of this uncertainty now that has cropped up so keep an eye on that as well so let's take a look at the cues cues very very similar situation going on here as you can see nasdaq has been extremely strong and we're getting a substantial gap down here in the nasdaq taking back most of yesterday as you can see but as long as we can hold on to some price support in this chart hold on to trend will be okay if we start to fail there just be careful watch that closely we could get that big trigger of profit taking into the weekend and last but not least iwm iwm really wasn't all that happy at all yesterday anyway all the money was being driven toward the uh, the diamond spy and q apparently it wasn't all that inspired um, now this morning IWM is gapping down below the low of yesterday is giving up a little bit of price support in the chart that could be a little bit of a problem here for the overall market if that extends but one thing that's for sure is IWM has been pretty much ignored by the other indexes uh, a good portion of the year. But if this really starts to extend out, it could certainly weigh on or pull down the other indexes. So let's watch that carefully, particularly if we give up this level of support right in here. 
sellers break that down, we could be and have a little bit of problem here in IWM. So let's keep a close eye on that. Now, one thing we're going to have to pay attention to is the VIX. The VIX was just dropping like a rock yesterday. As you can see, fear falling out of the market substantially and pushing back down here toward this level of support. With this big gap down this morning, we can expect fear to creep back up quite a bit. Now, so far we've been holding this downtrend in that fear. It's going to be interesting with this new situation, depending on how the market reacts here, how um, or what comes next. So let's keep an eye on that VIX. If we happen to break above this level, I don't know that that in itself will be a bad thing. Um, certainly option traders, things like that, your option prices are going to go up when we see fear escalate like that. But um, it's probably only going to be really critical if we happen to hold that downtrend, hold this price support somewhere in here as support and that fear continues to escalate. That's where the real problem will come in. We'll wanna watch that pretty closely. That higher low could be a major issue. So keep a close eye on the VIX. Certainly we can expect that to um, be substantially higher this morning. Whether it'll break through this trend, I don't know, or break through above this big support area i don't know that will only probably trigger if we get that wave of profit taking coming in as we head into the weekend let's take a look at um, t2122 now t2122 yesterday was signaling that we were reaching kind of a an overbought area at one point in time in the day we were pushed right up in here end of the day we pulled that back just a little bit i don't know how that pulled back but it did pull back just a little bit so it still shows us that opportunity that we could move higher in here but we know this big gap down this morning is going to change things and um, this opens the door obviously for a substantial move lower now this doesn't necessarily mean we have to cavitate if if we pull back hold support levels in the indexes we could see t2122 pull back substantially but if we hold those support levels and then rest there consolidate we could still have a really good launching point to move on higher so don't don't think this means that we're just destined you know for the market to fall apart but there certainly is some concern um, here this morning and it really i think the thing that that the market is really trying to get its head around is what comes next we don't know where this goes from here. What comes next in this little game that's being paid, played, very dangerous game between the two countries? What happens next? We'll have to watch that pretty closely. And um, that's gonna be where the concern lies here for the market. So let's take a look at uh, our economic calendar for the day. Our economic calendar has some important reports here. Now, whether or not we'll get much response out of these um, with all of this new circulating around, it will be interesting. Motor vehicle sales um, earlier this morning. We have ISM report here this morning. No one's expecting that to be terrible, so that could hold up. Construction spending, our natural gas report, don't expect that to move us around the petroleum however this morning is probably going to have a significant move just based on um, the tensions now here in the Middle East so we've already seen Brent crude um, rising sharply here this morning it will be interesting to see how the market reacts to the petroleum status number um, as that comes out today at 11 we have a parade of Fed speakers here today, and what normally just brings in a light choppy market is um, waiting for the FOMC minutes. Could that happen today? Yeah, we could, we could after our initial knee-jerk reaction, just get really quiet and rest until we get the FOMC. 
Um, it, it really all depends on how that mark, how the market feels, how it's feeling as we head into the weekend and that uncertainty that um, this Iranian thing has created for the market. So we'll want to watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. In our earnings calendar, we only we have 18 companies on the earnings calendar. Only one of those earnings. Um, is confirmed and that is LW and it's really the most um, notable of the day really the only notable potential report of the day so we'll want to keep an eye on LW as it reports today let me take a quick look I was thinking yeah it reports this morning it looks like it has not reported yet but it reports this morning so we'll want to keep an eye on that with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do if you guys would do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you wouldn't mind clicking that subscribe button and also um, clicking that bell icon when it pops up to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to provide any prediction and, and I try to avoid all of that hype and everything you might see other places. It's meant to really give you some focused um, look at the technicals of the chart and the price action of the chart and see what that means for that potential for the day and how you might want to approach what you might want to be watching for. And if you find that to be helpful, please do me a favor again and, and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment that helps the algorithms continue to show these videos to more folks and continues to grow the channel. So thank you so much for those who do that. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. I, I honestly, I get humbled. Um, every day by the comments and that folks leave on the channel so thank you very much um, uh, I, I it means a lot to me you can't imagine I put an awful lot of effort into this but it means an awful lot to me um, seeing those kind responses so you guys thank you so much um, truly appreciate it so with that let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up but we're gonna have to be really careful with this today because everything could have changed overnight so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some stocks but please understand I'm gonna really be um, talking about some caution here um, be careful how you approach these stocks today what you might want to do with them um, let's take a look and by the way just remember that any stock I show you here is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever okay now one of the stocks I've been keeping an eye on and I've been watching this fairly closely and here's my here's how I've got this chart drawn up I've been keeping an eye on Halliburton Halliburton um, breaking through this resistance um, showing this nice trend has been consolidating over here now this morning with this rise in oil prices it looks like it's going to break my alert here to the upside what you'll have to decide is if you want to take a trade on something like that or not with all of the volatility in the market that we could see around those oil prices but let's keep in mind we have a pretty nice setup here a possibility for a setup but i want to also point out that possibility that this could even though it pops out today could continue to pull back and rest all the way into that trend before it really goes so keep that in mind and we might want to take a look at some of those oil sector stocks today there may be some price action in there uh, for trading if um, those crude prices continue to react to the Iranian tensions um, take a look at uh, GE GE had a tremendous day yesterday now in um, to be completely um, honest here, I'm already in a trade here on GE and I've actually been holding this based on this weekly chart, waiting for this potential move to occur. And a beautiful move here yesterday and you can see breaking some resistance in this chart. Well, what I'll keep an eye on this, now this resistance is pretty darn important. 
if we can break above that and hold, then there may be uh, more upside opportunity. But with today's uh, news and events and things, wouldn't be all that surprising to see this continue to back up in here and maybe even move out toward this trend. So kind of keep that in mind. We have a potential here uh, for GE to really start showing some signs of life, but a little bit of problem um showing up here as well this morning could certainly change that so keep that one um close in mind a chart i've been keeping an eye on is plnt planet fitness is one of those charts that couldn't can be a little bit seasonal you know as we get through the holidays everybody starts thinking about oh well i've gained a little bit too much weight and i need to start working it off and companies like planet fitness things like that start showing signs of improvement so with that seasonality in mind I've been kind of keeping an eye on planet fitness here and you can see we've been challenging this price resistance in the chart if I back this off you can see that rather clearly so we're challenging this price resistance in a chart in an uptrend and I want to watch this in here to see if that can pop on through and then we might come up here and attack the highs that you can see here in the chart, which would be a nice little trade um, for someone that might be interested in something like that. So keep an eye on those kind of charts. Another place that you can look, um, considering that um, seasonality would be Weight Watchers, but I gotta tell you, Weight Watchers, I think it's already made its move and now we're starting to see those successive lower highs that we kind of got overbaked here for a while so we'll want to watch this price support that we show i'm showing right in in the chart here but what we're going to have to do is just be a little bit careful because that could certainly um fail here and if we drop below there could be more downside in that chart so downtrend is in place in ww not exactly the place i'd be looking for a trade at least today now a trade that I am also in, and I've talked about this several times, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has been looking pretty good. It's probably uh, obviously bearish candle yesterday, pulling back and likely pulling back again yet this morning um, in reaction to all of this news. But let's keep in mind what we have going on here. We're holding up. We've got a trend in, in play here. So we're holding up in this chart. And um, as long as we hold that support, this could still move on higher. And it's one of those defensive sector stocks. It's a place where folks will oftentimes run to when the market is a little bit uncertain, they might run to some of those defensive sector stocks for the dividend yields um, in trades like that. Uh, people aren't gonna stop drinking Coke. So um, might be one to keep an eye on and you might wanna take a look at some of those defensive sector stocks. Uh, another place you might wanna look today, we're likely going to see um, with this fear probably creeping up and escalation in gold. You can see we're gapping up here this morning. Gold prices moving higher. There's a little bit of fear. We might also find um, like utilities might be a place that folks may move to some safety you can see utilities had a big sell-off yesterday but that really could bounce right back um, if fear creeps up in here in the market so watch these prices closely it's going to be kind of interesting how um, the market reacts to this and how much reaction they have um, overall um, in the in the chart you might want to keep an eye on Costco if you're looking for a short trade Costco is and by the way I'm already in a Costco trade just to be up front I'm in a Costco uh, bear call credit spread and I'm up sub substantially in that trade already um, but what I'm watching here in this chart is that failure um, yesterday pushing on down and 
with the uh, news in the market today, Costco could break down through this support. And if it does break down through that support, uh, we could see Costco moving on lower. So keep an eye on that. Costco not looking too healthy here. And if you're looking for a short trade, that might just fit the bill for you um, in a market like this. So a little bit of both sides here uh, for you to consider. I saw a lot of price movement um, in stocks um, yesterday, um, but some a little bit surprising. Now I'm watching um, Amgen here. Amgen has been moving up in this trend, but I don't like the fact that we gapped up here yesterday and put in this dark cloud cover pattern here in the chart. Now, as long as we can hold this price support in here and hold that trend, we're probably okay, but a little bit of concern on that chart. So keep an eye, we could start seeing some of these stocks breaking down if that fear really starts creeping up. Another place that you guys know I've been keeping an eye on and watching is CGC. And CGC had a really nice pop um, earlier this week and you can see now yesterday we pulled back a little bit. And all that really is is a reaction to that resistance. So right now, holding this support right through here in the chart, bouncing up, and by the way, this actually is above its 50-day moving average. This is a pretty common price action move. We call this a rounded bottom breakout, and that's where the stock breaks above that 50-day moving average. And more importantly, um, or as importantly, I wouldn't say more importantly, it broke its downtrend and held it as support. So we'll watch this little pullback in here. If that can hold this 50 in here, we'll wanna watch that for that opportunity to move higher. Um, uh, Crone could be one of those setting up and I like the way it bounced nicely and so far is still holding. Um, another one in that same sector would be Crone. Crone um, uh, cannabis stock popping up through its 50 day moving average and now pulling back to test of this support could once again be in that round of bottom break out type pattern. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Please remember to click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I want to wish you a great day and an awesome weekend. Take care now. Have a good one.